morning, you guys. We are getting a late start to our day because we were supposed to be at my water ultrasound, sauna Instagram, whatever it's called, at 9.30. For some reason I got it in my head that it's at 10 and the fertility clinic just called me and was like, where are you? Here we are. We're just right here in the car. <laughs> Oops. So we're on our way and I was like, oh sorry, I put it in my calendar that it was at 10 a.m. But guess what? I did it. I put it in my calendar that it was at 9 30. So funny. I'm a ditz. It's a good thing that we live like 10, less than 10 minutes away from our fertility clinic. I know I follow people that live like over an hour away from their clinic. Which would suck because you're going there so much and yeah, like just for a blood test. That's super annoying. So what are you doing today, honey bunches? I'm gonna go home and create some Facebook ads for redmondequine.com. Heck yes. We both work, we do the same thing. We are digital marketers for the same company, but different, like sister brands, if that makes sense. He does equine salt, I do table food salt and other products, anyway. I'm gonna go home and clean, because I worked, I already worked like over 40 hours this week, probably. So. And then I'm gonna go golf. I'm a golfer now. Eric is so into golf lately. My dad retired last year, and we've been going a lot. So we bought a Groupon pass to a local golf course and go with some buddies and my old man. It's a good father bonding son, or father bonding time. All right, we are getting closer to the clinic. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but we'll, we'll be there in a minute. And I'm a little bit nervous about this, but not what? too much. I don't know. I'm just worried it's gonna feel like the HSG, but it'll probably be fine. I don't know, I'm a lot more relaxed when it comes to all of this stuff we're doing. Because it's just, it's become such a thing, like it's just a thing we do now. All this testing and all the procedures, it's just what we do. Whoa. tell but I'm bad I'm mad I really like went to that thinking it was just like oh okay do the standard whatever ultrasound just to check it off the list I didn't think we'd have any issues and now we have to do another surgery it's so frustrating I don't think it changes the schedule like of our frozen embryo transfer at all though I think we're still on schedule for the same transfer day and stuff, but... We're on schedule because they want to do it quickly so they don't grow back. Yeah. Okay, well... Ain't Let's nobody go. got time for polyps! Let's go eat our feedings and get all-you-can-eat Chick-fil-A nuggets. No, that sounds disgusting right now. I just want to go home and drink my smoothie, clean the house, and listen to loud music. Let's go clean the house and get smoothies and... Just listen to loud music <laughs> yeah. instead. Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is it for today. I'm done. I'm mad. And I... There's nothing I can do about it, but... Whatever. Luckily, our insurance 
will cover this. I mean, it will go towards our deduct deductible. It's still gonna have to come out of pocket because our insurance stinks. But um, yeah, we gotta go take care of that. I also need to order our medications, which are starting in a week and a half or so. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a better day and you didn't just find out that you have polyps in your uterus. I hope your uterus is normal and functions properly, like the way it should. Does your uterus function normally? It does not. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great day, bye!